it's an amazingly cool thing to be able to see what he accomplished this summer and looking forward to his accomplishments, you know, this coming Supercross season and knowing in the back of our minds and hearing his story about, you know, the, the first Supercross that he actually got to ride was on a KTM 50, you know, 10, 12, 15 years ago, something like that. What year? Uh, 97. <clears throat> you were how old? Seven years old. Seven years old. Minneapolis. What do you uh, remember from that night? Uh, you know, it, it, the race kind of a little bits and pieces. You know, I kind of still kind of look at it today thinking, like, I, I don't know how I uh, got around the track or how many laps we did, but I ended up third that day, and um, I just remember it being just one of the, the biggest uh, – one of the biggest days I'll never forget, you know, I mean, at such a young age, you, you realize you want to go pro, and then, um, you know, and then you get that opportunity, and I remember getting, uh, we sent in a resume, got invited, and, um, it, you know, a, a day to hang out with the pros, it's like living in the, living the life, you know, for a day, and, and um, you know, I got to meet all the pros and ride the Supercross track, which I'd never ridden before, and I, uh, the things that I do remember is kind of the sketchy moments probably on the Supercross track. You know, I think one time I, uh, you know, back then even the, the triple phases probably weren't so big, but I got air over one of them and I landed at the bottom and just head slapped the fender and uh, <laughs> saved it. But, uh, you know, the whoops seemed like they were probably the size of the triple jumps now. So, but uh, it, was, it was an amazing experience and something really cool that KTM, you know, for, for young kids, um, with a with a dream, you know, to do stuff like that. It's, it's it, it was really an amazing day.